Hi everyone, hope y'all are having a great day today. Um, today I wanted to show you a little bit, um, give you a few tips and tricks on reloading and uh, specifically shotgun reloading. And These are going to be pretty general tips, pretty basic. Um, for some of the supplies and stuff that you may need to get into reloading, be sure to check out my other reloading video on the channel. And um, So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to be using a Mech 9000 GN. Uh, it's been a really good reloader for me over several years, but um, the tips and tricks should be pretty basic for any progressive stage reloader. And what I mean by progressive stage is you don't actually have to turn it, so it goes from stage to stage to stage just by the pull of a handle or pushing a button. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now, the only thing that I'm going to assume is that you have a reloader that is fully assembled, no broken parts, or um, you know any assembly left and that you have the powder and shot bottles already on top of the reloader ready to go. So that's the only thing I'm going to assume here. Um, I'm, I'm going to kind of show you how to put your bushing in pretty basically because that will be a little bit different depending on the reloader. But um, The first thing you need to do is go ahead and fill the primer tray, um, which is just this tray over here. Whenever you pull the handle, um, it will put the primer down into this area here so that it can push the primer up into the uh, primerless hole. So go ahead and put this in here. Um, I've never put more than 200 at a time here. I'm going to put 100 because I already have some in there. And um, then go ahead and put this on. And then just raise it up and tighten it up. Okay, so now if you need to change your bushing, and the bushing is simply the um, device that's going to regulate your powder, so whenever you get your reloader, you should probably buy several of them, but depending on the powder that you're going to use, you're going to use um, quite a few of them, especially if you use a couple of different brands of powder, so um, it goes right here, so I'll go ahead and take these down, and there's a screw right here on the front that you're going to have to unscrew, and I'll have a picture up there for you guys. And uh, you're going to unscrew that. When you unscrew that, you're going to take this spring off, and you can do it um, either way. Just make sure that you don't have the the uh, powder in the shot pointed up so that it'll drop out on you. Just that's the only thing you need to make sure of. So um, that's how you change it, and then you're just going to slide this charge bar out. And you can put your bushing right in there. It's a real simple process. So um, if you guys need to do that, go ahead and do that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on actually reloading here. So what I have set up here, hopefully you guys can see this, uh, the sun green, I think you guys can, is I have my holes right here on this side, and you're going to need at least two plastic um, things like this. Uh, two plastic um, buckets, you know, whatever you want to call I guess these are buckets, but kind of tray type things. Um, plastic containers. And I have one here, and I have a shorter one on the back side, that I have to catch the um, the shells as they come off the loader and then whenever I do 25 or 50 I'll just go ahead and box them up and um, then over here on my right side I have the wads in a tray so all I have to do every time I reload is pull the handle and then grab a hole here, slide it in here grab a wad, slide it in here so that's pretty simple um, so let's go ahead and get started here just put your hole right here on the first one now what's going to happen here whenever you pull this handle is you're going to need to tip these back so that you don't have any powder or shot drop um, that creates a big mess if you do at this point. So you want your primer tray up so it's going to drop a primer. So then whenever you pull the handle it's going to drop the old primer out and it's going to drop a new primer in there. And then you're going to pull up and it's all going to go to the next stage. Okay so now you're going to put a one of your holes here in the first one again and you're going to put a hole just to catch the shot so that you can you don't have to take the shot off and um, one thing that you need to be careful of, this is probably the um, most common malfunction I don't know if you call it malfunction but very important thing to remember that we've had reloading with this loader and I can't say that it's that way on every Mac 9000 GN but I know we've had a lot of problems with it and this is the only thing that's, that we have had that has even been a bother on it but whenever you drop this primer, um, sometimes it won't drop. Sometimes it will get stuck in the tube that goes from the primer holder to the place where the primer drops it on this um, on this area here. And then it will slide and rotate and drop in there. Sometimes it will get caught in this tube. So I just keep a spare screwdriver and just kind of tap it there and it will come out. So whenever you're loading, 
that's what you need to be careful of is whenever you're pulling the handle, make sure that that primer drops because if it doesn't and you have a, and you go ahead and load it, all the powder is going to drop and it's going to create a big mess because the hole that was supposed to receive the powder doesn't have a primer in the bottom of it and it creates a huge mess and it kind of takes a few minutes to clean it up. So um, just save yourself some time there and be sure to watch out for that. So go ahead and do it again. All right, now take the, the uh, hole that caught you your shot and go ahead and pull the plug on the top of this the shot container and just pour it in there. Okay, now I'm just going to take this hole and put it here on the side. Okay, so now I'm going to start using the wad. At this point, it'd probably be a good time for us to check our powder. Now I'm reloading red dot. I'm going for an 1145 feet per second load, so I need about 18 grains. I hadn't checked the powder yet today. I'm at 17.9, so basically right on the dot. 17.8, actually, is where it landed the last. So right on the dot, pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, one thing I think that if you'll notice is if you're reloading in an air conditioned or a heated area, you know, climate controlled, um, you, you're going to vary by probably about 0.2 to 0.3 grains is typically what I've varied by. Versus if you're reloading um, outside in a garage where you you don't have any heat or any air, you're probably going to vary by more like half a grain. So uh, that is one of the benefits of loading inside. So but you obviously have to be a little more careful loading inside than you do outside in the garage because you don't want to make a huge mess and have shot and powder all over the place. So I'll go ahead and pull the wheel again. Okay, so here I'll go ahead and kind of explain what we've been doing. The first stage, like we said, drops the powder and or drops the primer, excuse me, and knocks the old primer out. The second stage puts the new primer in to the hole and puts the powder into the hole. The third stage, so right here, it'll put the wad into the hole that now has the primer in it, and at the same time it drops the shot. And then the rest of the stages are just crimping, crimping the top of the hole down. So I'll go ahead and finish these out. So there you go. We went from this, a hole that has been spent, to a hole or a shotgun shell that is ready to fire now. So it's a pretty simple process. Um, like I said, the main thing that you have to watch for is that the primer is dropping. That's a huge cause that, that can give you some headaches. Um, it's really not too big of a headache. You know, it's not going to be anything major. But uh, you want to be careful and watch for it because you just don't want to spend the time, you know, having to clean up if you don't have to. And um, that's pretty much the only thing that I've had to watch for on this. The other thing that you need to watch for is sometimes these holes, hopefully you guys will be able to see this, they'll get kind of bent like that. And so you need to be careful and watch for that. Um, and if they're bent on the outside, sometimes whenever they come over either to the powder one, usually they can kind of catch on a tube that comes down and uh, allows the primer to go down where it needs to. So you need to be careful for that. So guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it. Um, that's the second video, I believe, in our reloading series. So hopefully you guys are liking it. So um, like the video, guys. Give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.